Good morning, folks. Good news is apart from the 6.6 .6 kickoff to the Quake Watch, we haven't had anything serious. A couple notable quakes yesterday, a 5.3 on the Carlsberg Ridge. The Sumatra Indian Ocean region off screen to the right was active as well. North of Alaska, we saw some quakes where I've never seen an earthquake before. It's been about a week since the last five-pointer on the western coast subduction zone south of the equator. Two great articles here that offer a broad understanding of their respective topics, this one on why Europe is financially still in trouble, and this one detailing the South China Sea resource issues that make this area just as dangerous as the Middle East. Russia is finally coming round on certain global calls against Iran. It's hard to tell whether any of this is actually good news or will actually change any plans or anything like that. This article uh, is the Weather Channel's hurricane forecast for the year. They are predicting a mild season. If you watch this video here, pay attention to some of the equipment and what they are doing. See if you have the same queries I did. This is a nice little read about methane releases on Titan likely set to slow down here soon. And finally, NASA testing a new GPS location system for earthquakes that require immediate emergency response or tsunami warnings to be issued. This is from last night. Look at the yellow go from low to high. That's the solar wind speed moving to this morning. We are in a coronal hole stream from this little guy right here. You can see the speed is still very high and up there in the red the BZ has been tipped south for a good bit of the visible range. You can see the magnetic storm from yesterday and you can see we had a minor disturbance last night as well. Although it looks quiet now, we may bounce back into another storm. You can see strong disturbance here on the Fluxgate magnetometer. Very strong resonance upon multiple frequency bands inducted into the Earth. The plasma is screaming past our magnetosphere and spiking the red absorption line and you can see that particle bombardment here on the Ovation Prime. Sunspot number is 169, that's very high, but we have had no big flares. You may remember we said to watch this spot, it is now Beta Gamma Delta, it gives us our best chance for a big flare. It's the most complex morphology indicating bipolar regions within a small umbra and penumbral region, that's what Beta Gamma Delta means. Essentially that little sliver of red should not be creeping between the blue could produce a significant flare. We should also watch this region above it. It developed strongly overnight and could become unstable later today. Looking at the northern solar earth-facing disk, you can see some of the active regions. Another dark coronal hole creeping across from the northeastern limb. About four plasma filaments up here. None really look unstable. Coming down to the south, the vertically oriented darker region in the center is actually an earth-facing filament. We need that one to stay stable more than the others. Wasn't expecting this coronal hole stream to be this significant right now, and we have another CME on the way, you might remember. Magnetic storm watches up, solar watches up because of the beta gamma delta spot, and I wouldn't even be surprised to see some bigger quakes. That's the news, folks. Be safe.